If you are thinking about starting an e-commerce business where you want to sell products online, watch this video to know what to expect when it comes to startup fees and just getting started. Let's go. Now too many people dive straight into the business and do not know the costs that go behind the business. So let me break down some for you so that you don't make these costly mistakes and you know what to expect in this business. Now before I get started, I have a disclaimer. There are definitely three methods to just get started, but you won't have your own domain, you won't have your own brand, and you are stuck on the free versions of the websites, which typically tend to be very limited. So any integration with shipping APIs or order management systems are usually lost with these free versions and will all be done manually. There's nothing wrong with this, but I'm just giving you a disclaimer that I am talking about actually setting up your full store to include all the startup fees. So let's go. The first thing you need is domain and hosting. Now to know the difference between the domain and the hosting, the domain is the name of your website. So in my case, the name of my website is borderlesscommerce.net and the price will vary on demand. For example, a .com will be worth more than a .net which is why I have borderlesscommerce.net. If I wanted to purchase the .com, it would be Say like $5,000. Now hosting is a place where you store your website files. Think of this as your server where you store all the photos, all the information on your website into one place that can be accessed globally. So after you get the name claimed, like you have to get a domain, you're gonna need to find a host to host your website. Expect about $100 for each for a yearly plan. And yes, this needs to be renewed on a yearly basis in most cases. You can use websites like GoDaddy or HostGator to invest in these. Now there are cheaper options and you usually need to know the right people and the right systems to get cheaper options for hosting and domain. I'm just speaking from my experience. Typically the big names have really great customer service and can make sure the speed of your website and the hosting is working properly 24 seven. Now the second thing are the SSL certificates. What is this you may say? This is essentially changing your website from HTTP to HTTPS for adding encryption to be able to accept credit or debit card orders. Customers will not buy from your website without it and they will get a warning and the data may not be safe if it doesn't have it. Adding this kind of encryption to your website, you can expect about $80 that you need to pay annually. And sometimes that can include the domain and hosting. Like they have a promotion where they have the SSL domain hosting all together where they might be like 200 bucks, but that's just an estimate of what you want to do that you need to renew every year. Now the third thing you'll need is a payment processor. Yes, you'll need to have something to be able to accept payments. There are many options and they're usually free unless you are using a Chinese platform, which they're not free. They want to pay up front. But to give you some examples, you have PayPal, you have Stripe, you have Razorpay. There's many and you might want to research the best suitable for your country. So in my case, I use Stripe because I'm an American and it's very convenient to use. But in your country, if a lot of people accept a specific payment processor that can be applied online to an e-commerce store, by all means, use that one. From the free ones that I use, they usually don't charge you upfront for a fee, but instead they make their money per charge. So every time someone buys on your website, they will charge three to 5% of that transaction so that they can get a cut out of your business. So it's kind of good for business startups because when you make money, they make money. The fourth one is a web developer. Now this can be done for free if you have coding experience and you can just look up some tutorials on YouTube. I'm not saying it has to be so extravagant and perfect when you're just getting started. However, if you want a fast and very professional standard looking website, I would recommend going on platforms like Upwork or Fiverr to hire a developer. A lot of people have experience integrating the payment processor, the WooCommerce store, the Shopify, whatever store you're using, and they've done it many times and they can do it quickly, usually within two days, sometimes seven days, depending on the complexity of your website. If you want to integrate a calendar integration, if you want to have shipping API, they can help you do that. I would estimate to save between one or $200 for this development fee, but in my opinion, it's totally worth it if you're short on time and you just want to get started now. So what is the total damage? According to what I just explained, it's around $430 to $450 just to set everything up. And correct, you may need to take some side jobs so you'll save this money to get everything running. I would recommend to save at least $500 once you've picked your market, your product, you have 
negotiated with your supplier how to do this business and actually get your store set up with those funds. I'm not showing you these startup fees to prevent you from starting. By all means, I'm not trying to do that. But this is to get a stable website with stable processors. These are the estimates based on my personal experience. Are there cheaper methods out there? Of course there are, especially if you know people that are in the industry, like if you talk to some of the Fiverr uh, and Upwork people that do this web development, they probably know channels to get cheaper hosting and cheaper domains and all that. So if you know the right people, you can definitely get a better deal. So I hope you learned what it actually takes to start an e-commerce business, to have everything up and running. My channel focuses more on the procurement and the shipping side, but if you'd like to hear more of this kind of content about setting up your e-commerce store to help you, let me know in the comments down below. Let's make sourcing easy. Now that you know what it takes to get started, you may want to know some sourcing platforms you can use to know how to find the right supplier and you can check this video right here. Or you can also look at this video on how to get started with just $50.